been significant progress that's been made in the documentary, and last night I spoke with Max Marx. Since you probably don't know who I am, I wanted to start off by saying, Usakasakabo. My name is Elba, and I am a Taino Arawak woman who recently came across the video I just stitched and have a few things I'd like to say. I haven't been a follower of Lance Sosi for a while now, but I find it more than a little suspicious that out of all of the creators who have been problematic, he is who you chose to focus on. Now, I haven't watched the videos on your original account before it got banned, but I did take the time to watch the ones that were relevant on the account I just stitched. That said, I saw that you've called out Lance in the past and supposedly people who were being racist towards him, but not that you've advocated for black and indigenous people of color prior to your beef with him. You've gotten a lot of flack for taking on this project, and I also noticed per this comment that you mentioned being from the same tribe in Denver. Have you reached out to your elders to get their blessing? I ask because it's my understanding that they have already spoken to Lance. That and I feel like their go ahead would make a huge difference with regard to how your work is perceived. As it stands, the timing of all of this throws up a lot of red flags, as does your dismissing the multiple creators who have asked you not to move forward with this documentary by essentially saying the black and indigenous people of color you've been working with are cool with it. Their voices are valid, as are those of the 30-something indigenous creators you claim to have interviewed so far, but their voices should not be used to disregard everyone else's. I believe that a better way to go about this would be for you to use your platform to share the videos of indigenous creators who have already addressed Lance and encourage your followers to compensate them in some way, shape, or form for their time and energy. Had you done this and then later came out and said, hey, I have an idea for a documentary and I want to uplift your voices, people would be a lot less hesitant to participate. Your documentary comes off instead as using the pain of black and indigenous people of color for your personal gain, which is why it's being seen as a step back from the reconciliation and healing that so many black and indigenous creators have been working towards. Lance's words and actions have already led to an increase in anti-indigenous as well as anti-black hate on this app. And the fact that you don't seem to care how your documentary would exacerbate this issue is precisely why so many have told you that you have no business doing it in the first place. Your intentions could be the purest of pure, but as the saying goes, intention doesn't matter more than impact. Anyway, I hope you've taken the time to hear me out and that you reconsider doing this documentary.